keep get messed with the clock even though the position was not ideal as well Turning rook f6. I don't understand this maneuver. <laughs> Knight goes back. Uh huh, now I do. Okay, if you're forcing me to, to play it, I will. Although I could have played b6 as well. I don't like the way I played in this endgame, but uh, at least my time situation is not too bad. Okay, I can put my bishop on e5, I think. It looks like a good square. Actually, rook d5 is slightly annoying at some point, but I can go king e6. For the moment, this is, might be a, a little bit hanging. Okay, so no big threats by my opponent. Sacrificing a pawn, but I guess I have to address the rook. Rook d7 was kind of an idea. Okay, I like the fact that this knight is not too active. He doesn't have any big threats. His only idea was e5 and I prevented it. Now bishop e5 is coming. Alright, I think I'm having some advantage. But I'm not sure. This knight is also very active. Okay, so I have to play quickly before he starts with activity. Yeah, but now c5 is a weakness, I shouldn't have done it. Okay. Okay, I'll put it here in advance and now wait to see what he does. <laughs> Looks like a good move. Yeah. Weakening and everything. I guess I can go here. But it feels like he's slowly making progress. Now the king may join, but CB5 was unnecessary. In my opinion, because now it lets me improve my position a little bit. Knight b2. Okay, I guess I should have played c4. Let's try it. What does he want? It take this pawn is very strong now. This knight doesn't have many squares. I guess go c3, c2. 
Uh -huh. okay, let's start with this move order. Because c3 has knight d3. Now he has to put the knight somewhere and then... Okay, he gives it up. Good. So, should be close to winning now. Bishop c5 is an idea. Now f2 is falling, probably. Hmm. Let's bring the bishop back to the game. Not sure where. 29 seconds. Yeah, now he's gonna start checking me. Thought I had bishop e7 check. Oh man. <laughs> I'm starting to completely ruin it. Okay. Oh man. This feels scary. King h8 was probably better. Now I might be winning again. Oh no. It's a draw. Yes. Just a small trick. He fell for it for two seconds. Oh my god. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Whew. <laughs> I didn't expect to pull this one. I lost ten, 2 seconds in the first move. I shouldn't allow it to happen every single game. This is by the way not a strong move. But um, C5 isn't a good move as well. He should have played a6. Now we move to a theoretical position after knight e4. I wonder why he's thinking. He probably doesn't play this line regularly. Knight e4 and queen d5, queen d5, knight d5. Sorry, queen d5, bishop e6, queen d8. No, again. Knight e4, queen d5, knight c3, queen d8, king d8, bc3. And uh, bishop e6, knight g5, and. Okay, it's theoretically considered to be slightly more pleasant for white, but maybe black can hold. And it doesn't seem to know it. Now, if he doesn't play bishop e6, I just get this pawn. Ah, but maybe now bishop e6 was the point. No, no, actually he's right. I think this is the right way to do it. Now bishop e6, I think I have to take f e and then I go knight g5 and so and I'm not sure if it's better but king e7 or d7 and then f4 or something in this end game I mean not too sure about it but never really bothered looking at it too deeply because uh, I normally don't get this position with my repertoire in this case I play knight f3 for no reason on move number two and uh, usually do c4. I actually just did it out of laziness, but with this time situation I will flag him regardless of the position. If he keeps playing this way, there is no way out. Okay. Let's put the king here. g4 f5 is coming later sooner or later let's prevent his knight c4 idea h3 in case he goes h5 i like to put my pawn on c4 actually it feels good let's do it to limit his knight and then i put a rook on c1 and my, uh, maybe the knight will go to b3. Okay. 
Now if we exchange this, it will fix my pawn, so it probably will go knight b7. I think his only idea is rook d3. It's not even such a useful... No, I prevent it. I think... I want to go a4, a5 at some point, so... Either way, a4 is a healthy idea. His knight is very passive here, so... Yeah, I think he's gonna suffer. But now he has... No, he doesn't have b5. Too many pieces attack c5. So he kind of misevaluated this. But it cannot be good for him. Now he wants b5. But it's too late. It's too late to apologize. Now the rook will come to the b file. Let's do it from here so I can double. And this is just a blunder. Or a big mistake. But I understand. Yeah, rook b2 maybe. Put pressure on this knight. I think this works. Not sure. Yeah, my idea is knight c5 check. I think it works. Yeah. Knight d7 check next. Can resign. Yeah. Good game. I'm not sure if I'm overreacting or not. <laughs> the first four times I streamed on YouTube. I received between $80 and $110, something like this, per stream. So, it felt awesome. And I thought I can keep streaming for the rest of my life, <laughs> playing Blitz every day. This was a bit too naive. Nothing in this life will come for free So get out your wallet, shake your dollars with me I need a dollar A dollar is what I need to be I will check Now actually, Christopher spoke too soon <laughs> Donated three dollars, thank you um, <laughs> I have too many things to react to to what just happened i'll start with the obvious one christopher uh, you did something good but i'm not sure you intended uh, to give me an incentive to keep whining about it because it seems like nobody donates when i don't talk about it and when i do suddenly everyone remembers so i you give me no reason to to stop talking about it the only way to, to shut me up from this topic is to do it regularly without me mentioning it. <laughs> uh, what's the move? I think it's castles. But I'm never sure. It might have been bishop d7. Okay, whatever. Something like this. And then queen e3 or something. It's very hard to remember the theory here. If I didn't mention the whatever support I received on streams can count as part of the Patreon rewards, which I think are very good, and I'm completely objective. <laughs> they, I, I think they they worth at least as much as the the actual amounts there. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check the Patreon page. And it's basically in the description for every one of my videos. Um, and I'm also happy that I can hear the, the notification. Let me know if, if it kind of blew your, your ears away. Thanks for the advice, by the way, with the bot. I should uh, probably do it as well once I realize how to do it. I think I managed to do it on Twitch, so it shouldn't be a big problem here as well. So I should probably put the mouse back where it was earlier. For all the skeptics, seems like I have a few haters out there who might claim that uh, I've been cheating 
my entire life so just uh, to leave the mouse pointer there in case one of them is like uh, getting his fingers warmed up to writing comments okay so let's develop the last piece okay my pawn structure is not ideal but also I'm a little bit I mean I'm quite active as a compensation with these two rooks all my pieces are very active so yeah now I'm gonna go a5 if I get a4 his bishop is in a little bit of trouble and uh, I don't think he realized that it was kind of a threat now I can take here and open up his kink and this c2 is hanging yeah oh, he does the same kind of missed it but I still think it should be in my favor oh but not if I lose on time <laughs> okay let's rush at least by a bit this is not called rushing <laughs> I'm saying let's rush and then I oh uh, the bishop was could take could have taken this was a pity and he took with the bishop <laughs> okay let's continue he's one of those who just gives checks for no reason Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna flag him even though I'm losing. <laughs> I tricked him completely. Wow. In your face. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so proud, but... <laughs> <laughs> 